everyone, Gila back again. Welcome to my channel. I'm doing a little bit of the turquoise one today. I usually do this at night time, but as I'm going out of my bingo tonight, I won't have time to do any. So I thought I'll do some this afternoon and do some of the the other. I'll put that there in a minute. Do the other little one, which I normally do these in the morning and the afternoon. This is the 24 inch. I finished the 22 inch and I've just started the 24 this morning. I'll show you the 22. This is the the little 22 inch one. You can hold it a bit. It's a bit bright when I hold it right up there like that. I finished that one and it's come out right the size is all right and everything so I've got the 24 inch to do and I am doing a, um, a PDF for that one but the PDF is going to be from a, um, a size 16 to a 24 so there'll be five sizes on the, um, the pattern but I have to work work them all out first I've knit the um that's a 22 I've knit and I've got all the instructions down for that and I'll do all the instructions for the um the 24 because I've never actually wrote the I don't think I've done a 24 inch on that one before so I haven't got any instructions for it but I have got instructions for a um an 18 a 20 I think I'll have to look through my book and I can work some of the um the instructions out from what I've already knitted before but I'll probably have to knit a, um, an 18 inch one to to get the size but I was doing that anyway I was going to knit little ones like that for to put up on my shop so when I get all five sizes sorted out I will be putting up the PDF for the whole lot when it's done but I'm seeing as I'm going to bingo tonight that's why I'm doing this this afternoon to I'll do a little bit of the other one when I come back tonight Good, I was at my granddaughter's yesterday and it was a, a funny day actually, the kids see some funny things. Well my granddaughter Cheryl was at work because um, her partner Craig has just started a new job and he started it at the wrong time because the factory shut for two weeks. So he's off work but he has no wages so Cheryl had to go back to work for the couple of Weeks well, she does work when um, it's shift work. He does so she does work when when she can, depending on what shift Craig was on. But anyway, we had a um, canny day. We we're having what tea, and Craig made a nice spaghetti bolognese. And it was only me and the two youngest boys were having our tea first because Craig had to take. Um, Frankie down he does um weightlifting. So he had a weightlifting thing where Craig had to take him to, so I was babysitting the other the other two. Of course we were sitting at the um the tea table and I had finished my tea and they were just messing about and messing about and I'm saying, Come on, get your tea eaten, stop messing about with it And you know they had an answer for everything and but we're full. I says, you're yeah, not full, you've hardly eaten any of it, get it eaten. And then there were. Well, I don't like mushrooms. So the other one says, I don't like mushrooms. I says, right. So I poked around all that dinner, the mince and everything, and I got the mushrooms, put them to one side on the plate and pushed the rest what was left to the other side. I says, you're not getting off this table until that side is empty, till you've eaten everything on there. And the six-year-old say, oh, man, Nana. I says, never mind, oh, man, Nana. I says, get your dinner eaten. Have you got sweets for us? I says, yes, I've got sweets for you. But I says, you're not getting them till you've eaten your dinner. But he says, but I'm full. I says, if you're full, I says, you've got no room for sweets then, have you? I says, if you're full with dinner, I says, there's no room for sweets to go in that belly as well. Like, oh, man. 
That's what I kept getting. Who I kept saying, yeah, it says, you're not getting off that table until you've eaten the dinner. And you're either eating and all of a sudden a uh, little lady gets up. He's, uh, well, he's almost four. He's four next month. Gets up with his plate and he started walking to the door. And I says, where are you going? I'm full. I says, get that plate back on the table. I says, you're not full. You haven't eaten half of it. So, come back on the table. He says, I don't like you. I says, the feelings mutual, son. I says, I don't like you at the moment. <laughs> so they sat there and I made them sit there and they were eating it, you know, giving me dirty looks while they were eating it. And, and then the says, this is um this is Tommy the six year old trying to change the subject. Did my mum make that red thing you've got in your hair? Meaning this hairband. I says, Yes, your mum made that red thing. No, he didn't see anything you've got in your hair, he says that red thing, he says where you've got that stuff hanging from from it. That was what he said. And I says, yes, your mum made it's a hairband. And what do you mean, that stuff that's hanging from it? He says, well, my mum's got a real ponytail. I says, mine's a real ponytail. He says, but yours is funny. I says, you mean it's a bit frizzy and fuzzy? She says, yeah. I says, my hair is usually tied up. I think they thought my hair was short because it was always tied up in a thing, but I didn't tie it up yesterday I just left it hanging because I just washed it and so I just left it hanging you know from the the the, the band thing in a, in a ponytail eh? and I says never mind trying to distract me I says get on with your dinner so then the conversation got on to I had finished mine long before they had like and then the conversation got on to well you're the worst, Nana. I said, what do you mean, I'm the worst? Well, you finished first, or you're the first. It's first the worst. And then it's second the best, and the third the hairy princess. <laughs> oh, I forgot all about those sayings. My kids used to use them as well. And I said, well, if I'm first the worst, that's because I finished mine quick. So I says, who's going to be second the best and then who's going to be the hairy princess? Nobody wanted to be the hairy princess, so there was one dash to eat the uh, the meal. So I had to give in at the finish because they ate nearly all of it. And I said, oh, well, it's a draw. You're supposed second the best. And then they ran straight down to get my, uh, the sweets out of my bag. Hey, what a carry on just to get kids to eat, this, eat their meals. And they'd have to do it all over again when um, Craig come back with Frankie. Because <laughs> he's another one as well. He's a 10-year-old. You had trouble getting him to eat his, his meals. But anyway, that was my day at my granddaughter's yesterday. I didn't see Cheryl because she hadn't. I left about six and she still hadn't come in because she can be working till any time, depending what customer she has in in the place because she is self-employed she just works there and pays them um, what she earns something out of what she earns for the use of the um the salon and she has a lot of customers that just want to <laughs> so i think she must have had quite a few yesterday because i've never seen her but anyway i hope i'm lucky tonight at my bingo and I am using my computer today. I've tried. It's easier to, you know, my lap me my uh, tablet. I have to set it up when I do a um a video. I have to set it up and find some way to to, to put it down. On it's much easier on my computer because I just have to switch it on and click on the camera and it comes up. But I have trouble with the um, the picture going light and dark, and the way my camera is, my tablet is on my um, laptop, I've turned it round so that the back of it's looking. Yeah, yes, I've just moved my hand there, and it's went a little bit light. But normally, when I have it the other way, it's sort of like alongside the window shines straight onto it, and I think that causes a lot of the uh, the problem of the lightness and 
darkness. But I do get it if I move my hand about, you know, to what's not happening now. But it did before when I did it. If I move my hands about too much, it keeps going light and dark. But it seems a little bit better. I've turned it slightly on the side. So that part of the back is facing the um, the window instead of the uh, the front. It, it seems to be working a little bit better. So I might use my laptop a little bit more often. But I am sitting at a funny angle. I'm not sitting back against my set either way I normally do. Like, I would have to turn my set here around as well. But again, <laughs> but it's okay. So I will be leaving about half six tonight. Pick my friend up and hope we are lucky at the bingo tonight. We didn't win anything last week, but we had the last couple of weeks before that. So you never know. And I have just put this little cardigan that I did. I have just put the tutorial up on my um, other channel, Sheila's Just Knitting, for this. I put it up last night because it took me, after I came back from uh, Cheryl's, it took me quite a long time to sort all, because I had been recording little bits of the video as I was knitting it. And then putting those little bits into a, um, a folder in my computer and then I had to sort them all out and edit out all the little bits and that that um, you didn't want on the the video. So it took quite some time for to sort it all out and then get it up on. In fact, I set my laptop up to, to put it onto YouTube and it was going to take over two hours because it is nearly an hour that um, the video was going to take over two hours to process it and for it to get up onto YouTube, so I just left it. I went to bed and left it on the going up on my laptop. <laughs> but it had finished by this morning when I got up, so we've had one or two views on it. But it's on my other channel if anybody wants to have a look. It's not perfect, but like I'm seeing, there will be a PDF when uh, I get all the sizes sorted out and get them all the pieces knitted for. For the one I'm knitting at the moment, the 24. That's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and do a lot of um, like patterns, but instead of just a single pattern like I've been doing at the moment, a single size, I'm going to try and put a few sizes into um, into each PDF that I do. And I'd like to thank um, Betty for the donation she sent on my. Um, on my PayPal account. I am still looking on that buy me a coffee thing and I know there's been an awful lot of coffees bought me but for the life of me I cannot find out where that money is on that account. It said it takes 7 to, to 14 days and it's exactly 3 weeks for, uh, for, for them to sort everything out and for I don't know what happens, whether the money just, whether they just put it straight into my, I gave them my bank account details, whether it goes straight into my bank account from, they use a Stripe, they used to be PayPal, but they use a Stripe account now for, for that. And every time I look on it, it just says there's nothing there. So I wish they'd hurry up and sort it out because I want to cancel it if it's, once I get the, any money out of it that, um, people have been buying me coffees with. So that's just a little bit of information. Um, if anybody wants to make any donation at all, or like, instead of buying me a coffee, put it through PayPal. My PayPal account is in the description in my um, channel. So that's my little bit for today. I'm going to sit down and do as much as I can of this. This is one of the sides I'm doing on this cardigan now and get it, try to get this one finished so I can get it sent off to Sarah before the summer's over. So thumbs up and subscribe and bye for now. I'll catch you all another time.